you're graduating from college today, you're 22 years old. I mean, when I was 22, I, mean, I was completely clueless, you know, and, <laughs> and so yeah. I would not have had a very good chance going and competing with people. This is at least my logic. Like I wouldn't have a very good chance of going and competing with people who are already experts at doing something that was well understood. Mm -hmm. So instead I kind of had this thought of like, well, you know, if we're all living in this little city, I will leave the city and go out onto the frontier and find land that I think will be valuable in the future. And I'll spend a lot of time becoming an expert in something that people don't know anything about. I think that's like a really powerful model for young, you know, engineering talent or entrepreneurial talent who are thinking about new things. If all you do is like run to whatever the hype train is focused on that month, yeah. you're always way, way, way behind. Like yeah. that's just not a good way of building something valuable. I think the key is you got to have your own unique vision for the future and have your own conviction in, in, in an idea or technology or a kind of product that would be valuable. And it's actually way better if you can go out and have a couple of years on your own, becoming an actual expert and creating you know, value and technology and creating a team. And then yeah, you kind of want the world to catch up to you know, two, four, five years later. And obviously, you know, one of the challenges is people chasing hype and just constantly working on something two years or five years too late. The other thing is like you could go out into the middle of nowhere and work on something that winds up not being important and like the world never comes to where you are. Or, or you're just 10 years too early or five years too early, right? That's yeah. as bad as being too late. It really yeah. is. It is timing. And you, you iterate closer in on timing by listening to the customer. Yes, what, exactly. what you What you said. Yeah. And uh, again, the number of, number of entrepreneurs who have been extraordinarily successful in disrupting an industry that had no background in the industry because they didn't know what they couldn't do. I love that story. I think it's required. Yeah. Very rare that you find someone who like works in an industry for 30, you know, 20 years and then goes and starts a startup that disrupts the industry. It happens, but I think it's less common.